Plan to let you vote on a proposed increase to the sales tax in Jacksonville may be delayed a year. Duval County Public Schools wants the money sooner rather than later to fix the district's aging schools. Action News Jack's Paige Kelton joins us live in the newsroom. And Paige, today the City Finance Committee said it wants to push back a referendum until next year. That's right, Lorena. Councilwoman Joyce Morgan tells me her proposal for a November 3rd, 2020 sales tax referendum passed the Finance Committee this morning. But just about 40 minutes ago, the rule Rules Committee deferred a decision on that bill. So what does that mean? Councilman Jim Love tells me the bill will be stuck in rules for another month and it'll be decided by new council members who will be sworn in July 1st. Now back in May, the Duval County School Board voted to put a half cent sales tax on a ballot for this November, but they needed city council approval and there's been a lot of resistance. The money would be used to support a nearly $12 billion infrastructure plan to repair the county's aging schools. Moments after the Rules Committee vote about an hour ago, School Board Chair Lori Hershey told us she, uh, she was disappointed. What's really disappointing is that we ended today without having a firm date uh, for our referendum on a ballot. And the most disappointing thing is that voters today don't know if nor when they will have an opportunity to weigh in. About 45 minutes ago, DCPS sent out this tweet saying the tax increase would cost $6 per person per month. The district also urging people to come out to the June 25th meeting of the city council. Again, it looks like that council won't be voting on the referendum next week, but I'm told it still could be a topic of conversation. In the newsroom, Paige Kelton, CBS 47, Action News Jax.